Kenella Brad. Welcome to Proof Cocktail Bar here in Calgary, Alberta. I wanted to start off my Corbatier Toast of Paris by talking about what inspired me to make my low ABV aperitif cocktail. Uh, that being mornings in Paris, rain drizzling, you get up in the morning and you want to find yourself something to warm you up as well as kind of prep you for your day. Uh, I wanted to start out with a ounce of the Corbatier BS in this cocktail. I'm going to be doing a riff on the classic golden age sidecar. So an ounce of the Corbatier as well as three quarters of an ounce of our Le Quintinier Blanc Vermouth. Sticking to that classic sidecar, I'm going to do a quarter of an ounce of Cointreau further accentuating the fresh cut citrus caramel notes of our Corbatier de Cognac. The Le Quintinier Blanc really does bring forth some brioche flavors that will pair very well with a croissant or any sort of French brasserie cuisine that you would find at a cafe. Um, next, I wanted to substitute the lemon and sugar rim in the classic cold sidecar by making a lemon and sugar butter. So I'm going to put a point of that into my cocktail right in the glass and I'm going to serve it hot. As I said, I really wanted to make something that would warm you up on a Parisian morning in the fall or the winter. Uh, this cocktail is really inspired by the feminine teacups, teapots, um, also the feminine Josephine bottle that we have, um, Napoleon's wife. I'm assuming she obviously drank a lot of Corbatier as it was one of his favorite spirits and I really wanted to toast the fact that you know, this bottle is named after her and it's a very feminine product as well, meant to be enjoyed straight up in cocktails. So this one is going to be called Josephine in the morning, just kind of reiterating the fact that I would have wanted to, you know, serve this to her in the morning uh, just to start her day. Next, uh, for my Belly Poke inspired cocktail, I really wanted to make a drink inspired by what I think of Paris. Um, one of my best friends is a principal dancer in the Moulin Rouge and I'm fortunate enough to know enough about it that I really felt inspired to make a drink based on this historical venue. So for me, the founders of the Moulin Rouge actually did the same thing as the founders of Corbatier, Emmanuel Corbatier and Louis Galois by creating something that was very luxury, meant to be enjoyed with your feet up at a bar stool in a cocktail straight up. Somewhat similar to the fact that the Moulin has been an institution for so long, since the 1800s, um, celebrating the beautiful women of France, art, many different social classes in the same room. So for this cocktail, I'm going to be using an ounce and a half of our Corbatier VS to accentuate those fresh cut citrus caramel notes I'm going to be using the sage notes that the Le Quintinier Rouge Vermouth has a little bit herbal uh, for this cocktail I really wanted to bring some sort of champagne element as the Moulin Rouge is the original cabaret that sells the most champagne in the world so I made a champagne vinegar and raspberry shrub so I'm going to add a half an ounce of the shrub to this cocktail. Sticking to that very Western influenced belly poke style cocktail, I'm going to use four dashes of Peychaud's bitters. Once again, this cocktail is going to turn out red, resembling those red lights of the Mulan. Very evocative. Um, now I'm going to shake this cocktail. As I said, the Moulin Rouge really did unite many different social classes, Corbatier being the luxury ingredient in this, representing the upper middle class, the more rich of Paris during the Belle Epoque. I wanted to balance that out by topping my cocktail with something that is very almost frugal in nature, that being beer. I'm sure a lot of people enjoyed a great beer during those times, just by itself. Um, also reminiscent of the champagne that they had been topping their cocktails with during this, you know, Belle Epoque era in Paris. So I'm going to add just a few ounces of Cronenberg Blanc. 
lots of fresh cut citrus notes again to bring out that great skin fresh cut citrus in the Corbusier. My garnish is simply going to be that of a expressed lemon zest trimmed and placed carefully on the rim. Now as I said, the Moulin Rouge has celebrated French and Parisian women for hundreds of years. But I really did want to stick to the theme of, you know, celebrating the women behind the entertainment, behind the spirits, behind Napoleon, and behind Corbusier, as well as the bar, um, and call this one the Palais des Femmes, which means the Palace of Women, which was one of the original nicknames of the Moulin Rouge during the 1800s. Thank you for enjoying my twist of Paris. Cheers.